folks, Scott here. Happy Valentine's Day. It is actually February 14th. I just got my February 2023 My Monthly Hero Kit. This is the month where they are introducing the Premium Kit. So from this month on, you will have the choice of the Classic Kit or the Premium Kit, which will give us extra supplies to expand the versatility of our kit. This month, everybody gets a Premium Kit. Every subscriber gets a Premium Kit without having to ask for it. Let's see what we've got this month. It's all butterflies. <laughs> Let's see what's in our kit. So to begin with, we get a 3 by 4 inch stamp set all basically sentiments. There's also a butterfly, a moon, and a couple of stars there. Small stamp set. We get a butterfly window fancy die, which will, of course, die cut a window in the front of your card and die cut all of these butterflies as well. Looks like there's some little stars and a flower or two in there as well. We get four color layering stencils. Now these are supposed to stencil that window die. So there are four layers to these stencils. So there you go. You see that fits right on top of that big fancy die. And there's some details in the butterfly. Looks like here's some stars and flowers and the moon and more detail for the stars, flower, and the moon. Four color layering stencils that will color up our fancy butterfly window die. We also get a butterfly garden palette ink pad, which includes the colors of, this is all a reactive palette. So this is thistle, taffy, creamsicle, lemon drop, and key lime fizz. And we get a small blending brush, perfectly sized, to pick up individual colors from your ink pad. Small blending brush. The Hero Arts blending brushes are really very nice. And then we get some cardstock. A couple of these are pearlescent. I think you can see the shine on that. We get a piece of Sundream Coral Azalea. That would be the Azalea. And the Lagoon, still pearlescent, and Amethyst in the pearlescent. And then we get two sheets each of Iris and Mustard. So this one's Mustard, this one's Iris. So that's eight half sheets of cardstock with this kit. That's everything in our classic kit this month. And then the premium kit has the added advantages of nine butterfly fancy dies and frame cuts. So each of these butterfly dies also has a frame to cut it out. Nine of those and four sheets, count them four sheets of butterfly hero transfers. So these are rub on transfers. There's four of these sheets in here. And the great part is that the butterfly fancy dies, the frame cuts, will cut out the rub-ons. All of these are sized the same. And a bottle of fuchsia and gold duotone spray. And when I first opened my box, I thought, oh my gosh, it leaked out all over the place. It was empty. But no, there's powder in there. There's a note here that says, add water to fill to a half an inch from the top. So add water to about there probably up to the top of that label. Give it a shake, and you've got some fuchsia and gold duotone spray. That is so much stuff. Let's play with this. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Butterfly Day. <laughs> and here we have our 10 cards using our new premium kit for February of 2023. Now, if you followed me for any length of time, you know that butterflies aren't really my thing. <laughs> I've always thought that they're a little overused in the craft world. 
but I've been getting the My Monthly Hero kits for a number of years now, and I do believe that this is the very first truly butterfly-centric kit that we've received from Hero Arts, from My Monthly Hero. I think that in itself garners a little bit of attention. <laughs> so I figured I'd explore this new classic premium thing and start with cards that I'm making just from the items in the classic kit. So for our first card, we've got You Are Special. Now I die cut the fancy window die on some white cardstock and use the four layering stencils to color the die cut using inks from the palette ink pad. Lemon drop for the bodies, taffy for the butterfly details, thistle for the flowers, and key lime fizz for the greenery. Now I added touches of silver cardstock behind the moon, stars, and dots cutouts. But the whole card was starting to feel a little pale to me, so I took a Pigma Micron pen and outlined all of the details, all the details on the butterflies and the flowers that gives us lots of pop with this card. This background is a piece of pattern paper I had in my stash that matched almost perfectly. So I stamped the sentiment in the center using intense black ink and embossed that with clear embossing powder. And then I sprayed the whole background with some sheer shimmer spritz for a little bit of sparkle. I curled up the edges of the die cuts, the outside edges, and glued everything to a white card base. I did add two layers of cardstock around the edges of our window frame just to give a little dimension to that front piece so it wasn't laying perfectly flat on our background. The stencils work brilliantly and the butterfly window fancy die is rather spectacular. Yep, you are special. Butterflies. So we can also treat that window die as an embossing folder and complete the actual die cuts of the butterflies to make lots and lots of color butterflies. So our next card here is, thank you for teaching me to fly, featuring the die cut butterflies from that window die. So using the embossing plates on my die cutting machine, I embossed the die on the front of this Star Dream Coral Pearlescent cardstock, folded that in half to make our card base. While I was at it, I die cut the window die from the Azalea, Lagoon, and Amethyst cardstocks, and I fussy cut out all of the butterflies. Really quite easy. There's only two or three spots holding them all together. That gave me lots and lots of colored butterflies. I stamped the sentiment in the center with thistle reactive ink and embossed that with clear embossing powder. There's a little shine there. Then I gave a light fold to the wings of my butterflies and glued their bodies down to their respective places, matching them to where they belong on that die. It's very colorful. This really highlights the butterflies, which I think highlights that sentiment. And there's a nice shine to all of those pearlescent cardstocks. Thank you for teaching me to fly. So I thought that first butterfly stencil, stencil A, just the butterfly bodies, might make for a really nice foil card. So for card number three here, we've got a love you card all done up in rainbow foil. That makes me very happy. <laughs> so on some pitch black cardstock, I used the deco foil transfer gel through that stencil, let it dry, and then added rainbow shattered glass deco foil to the top of that and ran that through my laminator. It came out Really, really nice. Very, very pleased with that. I haven't done any deco foiling in a while. So I started fiddling around with the You Shine sentiment that's in our stamp set. I tried it with a bunch of different glittery and shiny uh, embossing powders, and I just didn't think any of them would hold a candle to all of that foiling. So ultimately, I decided to go with some hot foiling. Now here is one of the main reasons why I invested in a glimmer foiling machine. Foiled sentiments. Look at that, I love that. This love you sentiment, which by the way, fits in that space perfectly. 
is from the Foil Script Wishes Hot Foil Plate and Die Cuts from Honey Bee Stamps. This is nice. We've got best wishes, congratulations, happy birthday, love you, um, sending our love and uh, with sympathy. So great general sentiments. I foiled the sentiment on some more pitch black cardstock with rainbow glimmer foil and die cut the sentiment out. I die cut three more blanks and glue them all together to make a little chunky sentiment here. I glued the card front to a white card base and glued the sentiment into place. I'm thrilled at how well the glimmer foil and the deco foil products work together. I love this on the black. It is just gorgeous. Love you the rainbow foiled butterflies. <laughs> so of course you can also use your layering stencils without the window die. And we have may your dreams be your wings. And these rainbow butterflies certainly bring a bright splash of color to this card. On a white card base, I ink blended the rainbow butterflies, that is stencil A, with purple galaxy, blue Hawaii, green apple, lemon drop, creamsicle, and fruit punch reactive inks. Those are a little bit brighter than the ones in our reactive ink pad with this kit, but the same reactive inks. The flowers and the leaves are green apple and fruit punch reactive inks. And I used soft granite for the butterfly details and for the moon and stars. And then I used some Sukuniko Golden Glitz metallic ink for the moon, stars, and dot details, as well as a little ink blending around the edges of our card panel. See that? Just a soft little shine on that. The sentiment is stamped with Fruit Punch and Creamsicle Reactive Inks for a little bit of an ombre there. And it's embossed, of course, with clear embossing powder. It's a great, very colorful one-layer card. A little shine, lots of colors. I really like those layering stencils. They work very well. Now, a shaker card seems a natural choice for a fancy window die like what we have. But I still have all those butterflies I fussy cut from card number two. And we have a simple hello card for this one. A flight of butterflies sweeps this card upward, and this uses all but two of my previously fussy cut butterflies. <laughs> I still have two butterflies left. I cut a piece of black tie glitter cardstock to four inches by five and a half and glued that to a white card base. I folded up the wings of all the butterflies with the help. I used a um, Hero Arts reverse grip tweezer to fold all of these butterflies. Just put the tweezer right on the body. I just put the point at where I think the head is. Squeeze it shut and then fold up the two edges. The cardstock doesn't wrinkle. It makes for a very nice, even fold on your wings. The reverse grip tweezers will help with that. And I glued all their bodies down to the card front. Now this sentiment is cut from three layers of white cardstock and one layer of iridescent white cardstock. There's that iridescent cardstock. A little shine, a little glitter on that one. I think this die, I know it came from an advent calendar that a dear friend of mine got me a couple of Christmases ago. Nice little itty bitty hello. It fit this card perfectly. I glued all four die cut layers together and then down to the card front. There's a great sense of movement on this card and actually a good sense of distance too with the smaller ones seeming farther away, the bigger ones closer. It almost feels like they're coming right at you. I love this one. <laughs> Hello. So that's five cards using the supplies from our classic kit. Of course, I used some of my own supplies too. <laughs> but now it's time to expand our reach by including the premium elements as well. Now, when I first saw, I think you saw, I really thought this duo spray was empty when it came. But look at that. Add water to this. I actually added water right to about a half an inch from the top. I think that's what it says. And look at that color. 
Oh my goodness, that's amazing. <laughs> and look at that intense fuchsia color. And it's got golden highlights throughout. It's a little hard. Oh, there you can see it. There you can see those golden highlights. This is just two or three spritzes of that spray on some cardstock. Oh, I thought that would make a beautiful background to highlight the intricacy of the butterfly window fancy die. So for card six, we have a You Shine card with lots of shine. After that duotone spray dried on my cardstock, I stamped and embossed the You Shine sentiment using some Hewer Arts gold embossing powder. And I glued that background down to a white card base. I die cut the window die from a piece of Tim Holtz metallic champagne cardstock, cut that to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I outlined that piece with foam tape all the way around and mounted that on the fuchsia background. I added the die cut champagne stars around the sentiment and we're gonna let the die and that fuchsia and gold luster duo spray speak for themselves on this card. <laughs> that luster duo spray is spectacular all on its own. I really like the simple, plain, just outline die cut. No curling up of edges. You shine. Now it's time to play with our butterfly transfer sheets. It's rub on time. I wanted to do a card that featured just the rub ons. And here we have a thank you card. That's another sentiment in our stamp set. Now, my favorite thing about rub-on transfers is how easily you can combine multiple images into one. Now, this card uses all three of the flower pieces from one sheet of transfers. So it's using this flower piece here, this flower piece, and this flower piece. All of them combined together to make this one large flower arrangement in the corner over here. It's virtually indecipherable where those pieces join. I did lose two buds on the end of the big one here to make room for this single flower here. These are rubbed onto a panel of the Star Dream Coral cardstock. That's die cuts with a lawn fawn stitched rectangle die. I stamped the sentiment using intense black ink and embossed it with some clear embossing powder. I set the beautiful blue butterfly transfer as if it had just landed on that sentiment, rubbed it down, and I added some transfer stars around the sentiment as well. The card front is double matted on some pearlescent blue cardstock. That's for my stash. It was the closest color I could get to that butterfly. I think it's a pretty good match and then a thin black mat, and then down to a white card front. Lots of bang for your buck here. Basically, a very simple card to put together, but absolutely lovely results. Even I like those butterfly transfers. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> so that's the luster spray and the butterfly transfer sheets. We also have our nine fancy dies and frame cuts to go through. And those frame cuts actually work to cut out the transfer butterflies. So we must. Our next card is a happy birthday card. There is that ubiquitous happy birthday stamp that is in our stamp set this month on a white card panel die cut to three and three quarters by five inches with a lawn fawn stitched rectangle die. I used blue Hawaii reactive ink to color this stampendous flourishes metal stencil. It's one of my favorite party stencils in my stash. I've had that for a really long time. I'm sure you've all seen it before. I stamped the sentiment with intense black ink and embossed that with some clear embossing powder. And then some sheer shimmer spritz adds some sparkle to that whole background. When everything was dry, I glued that to a black mat and then down to a white card base. Now I transferred this butterfly to a piece of white cardstock and die cut it with the matching frame cut. Now it's interesting, you get, you can see, I think you can see there's some little hairline fractures on the right wing of my butterfly. I guess it's the left wing of the butterfly. 
and I know they weren't there when I rubbed it onto the cardstock, but I rubbed this onto, this is at least a hundred pound cardstock. So I think we got those little cracks when I die cut it. I think because this was thick cardstock, it added a little extra pressure to the die cut and gave me that little crack down the side. I think you guys can see that. I certainly can. So I think if you're going to die cut your transfers, that you might want to go with a thin, like 80 pound card stock and put it in one of your softer spots on your die cutting machine, just so it doesn't crack your transfer. It's hardly noticeable, but of course my anal retentive mind goes right to the crack. <laughs> I folded up the wings a little bit and glued the body to the card front. You have to admit, those rub-on transfers add a high level of polish and finesse to a card and are so simple to use. Easy peasy, yet beautiful. Of course, these fancy butterfly dies with lots of fine detail go along with the frame cuts. Well, that would give us something to color. And we have fly with three colored butterflies. And I, got, I die cut these butterflies from some Canson XL watercolor cardstock and colored them with my Tombow markers. I did go ahead and just die cut all of the butterflies I had with that watercolor cardstock. It was nice to do a little coloring. My Tombow markers work on that Canson XL really well. I also took my Pigma Micron pen and traced all the die cut details on the yellow and the pink butterflies. I didn't need that definition on the black and blue butterfly except for his antenna, but I think that added just the right touch, especially to those lighter butterflies. So on another three and three quarter by five inch stitched rectangle dye white panel, I took our butterfly body stencil. I moved this side of the stencil more towards the center and stenciled that with lemon drop ink. And then I took the other side and moved that closer to the first stencil. I blacked out that butterfly there and then ink blended the other five butterflies. That gave us a nice little more concentrated circle of butterflies in the center. I did that on just a piece of white cardstock. I created this little fly sentiment using the My Favorite Things mini well-connected alphabet stamps with intense black ink. And I did emboss that, of course, with some clear embossing powder. I glued the ink panel to a mat of Hero Hues Canary cardstock, which matches that lemon drop ink perfectly, and then to a thin black mat and down to a white card base. A little fold on the wings of the butterflies, give them some shape. I glued their bodies to the card front. With nine fancy dies in this kit, you can certainly color butterflies to your heart's content. <laughs> That's definitely useful for when you run out of your transfer sheets. <laughs> I do love this simple fly sentiment. So we got a sheet of rub on transfers with our My Monthly Hero September of 22 kit. And I noted then that the transfers are naturally translucent. Light passes through them until they're rubbed down on a piece of cardstock. Could you rub them down to a piece of acetate? For our last card, I couldn't resist this one. We've got You Shine. There's a little push. And our butterfly lights up. You Shine. <laughs> it's been a long time since I made a light-up card. And these butterfly transfers work beautifully for this. And we couldn't ask for a more perfect sentiment. Here's a little touches of the assembly of this card for you. So here's our basic layout of the card here. I took a piece of black cardstock and stamp you shine and push with uh, Versamark ink and emboss that with some white embossing powder. Die cut the shape of that butterfly. Now that butterfly actually sticks perfectly to some acetate. So that's clear acetate that that butterfly stuck to but I don't want to be able to see through the acetate to the back of the card. So I've added a piece of vellum. This is thick vellum, 40 pound vellum right behind that. 
I think I'm just going to leave those taped there because there's going to be plenty of foam tape to hold everything down. Here's my wiring diagram. So I just marked where the center of my opening was, and that's where I want my little light. And so I've got from one side of the light to the inside of this switch, you make a little switch, which is just a folded piece of cardstock or even paper. From one side of the light, I have taken my copper tape. These are chibi lights. Taken my copper tape from one side to the inside of that flap. I've taken the other piece to the other side of the light and taken that down over the top. Make sure that's all burnished down nicely. Over the top and to the inside. So when you put your button cell battery in there and close the lid, there's your switch right there. So that's how it's all going to look. That's basically how it's going to look right there. Let's see if I've got my push in about the right place. I do. That's our setup. Now I just add two layers of foam tape all the way around this, especially here. So it holds that switch up and then when you touch it down, the light will come on. So this is my layout of my foam tape. This is a double thickness of the regular Scotch brand foam tape all the way around. As you can see, I put a couple of triangles of double layer foam tape right in the hinge part of this switch so that when you put the top of the card on it, it doesn't press into the battery. So theoretically, this will all fit just about like this. I'm pushing this all flat on the foam tape and then push and the light comes on. Push and the light comes on. This is all pretty close. I'm not even going to bother to remove the liner paper on those corner pieces there. But yes, all the way around. And there's plenty of foam tape here to hold our butterfly in place. So to give me just a little bit of wiggle room, I'm going to take my liquid glue and just put a little layer of liquid glue on top of all my foam tape. And that'll give me a little bit of wiggle room to make sure that I get the top of this card on the front of this just perfectly. Cross your fingers, my flap is over. Here comes the top. Nice and easy to begin with. That looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and press. I don't see any foam tape poking out the sides. Push and the light comes on. There is our card. I'm gonna let this dry. I hope you enjoyed just that little bit of insight into making a light-up card. Voila! <laughs> you shine! Oh yes, you shine. I think this is a terrific use for those butterfly transfer rub-ons, especially because we have frame dies for them as well. I know of nobody who does not delight at receiving a light-up card. <laughs> if only batteries lasted forever. <laughs> and there we have my five cards using the classic kit and five cards using the premium kit. Now, I know some people will probably hesitate to level up to the premium kit, though, of course, a great value. It is a little more expensive than the classic kit. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the whole classic versus premium thing. I'll have to see what they offer us in the next few months to really come up with a, a valid opinion, I think. Now, I confess, I really do like all of these cards this month. Now, even though there are five cards that use that butterfly window die, I think they all read quite differently. The transfers, of course, are, are simply beautiful, and they make creating stunning cards quite simple. Now, I did manage to use a bit of everything in this premium kit. I used all of the sentiment stamps, even one of them twice. <laughs> the inks, the stencils, card stocks, dies, the transfers. I didn't use the small icons in the stamp set, 
but what's the point when you have all of these rub-ons and or die cuts that are basically the same shapes? Yes, butterflies are certainly popular. Both versions of this kit have sold out already. The premium kit sold out almost instantly. And even all of the monthly add-ons this month have sold out. <laughs> Remember, as a subscriber, you are guaranteed to receive a kit each month, whether it's the classic or the premium. There's a link to look at the new pricing for subscriptions to My Monthly Hero in the description down below. I know I can't wait to see what the coming months have in store for us. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I hope you enjoyed my take on this kit. Let me know what cards are your favorites. Remember to like me, list me, pin me, post me, share me with all of your crafty friends. Don't run with scissors. <laughs> and as always, I wish you and yours love and light and happy crafting. For more detailed information, better pictures, and product links, please visit my website at cardcutups.com.